I'm quite strict about what qualifies for entry in the GOATI list and remakes, re-releases and remasters can't make the cut. I wouldn't lump Rhythm Paradise Megamix in with that lot. This is definitely its own game. Most of the levels in Megamix are taken from the first three games in the series, but this recontextualizes them and adds a lot of value. The Rhythm Tengoku levels make their first appearances in English. The Rhythm Paradise levels no longer require the stylus controls that made the original my least favourite game in the series. And the Beat the Beat levels are fucking brilliant, and it feels just like a huge treat to have them in a handheld game. All these levels are built into campaign with entirely original levels, new remixes, and a ton of unlockables. There's a new challenge mode, street pass, and multiplayer. Rhythm Paradise has always shared similarities with WarioWare, but this is the first game in the series that feels as wild and generous as those games. I'm a big, big fan of rhythm games, even boring ones. As long as it's functional, I'll probably spend hours on it. Rhythm Paradise isn't typically about the music, it strictly focuses on fun rhythms. What keeps it so entertaining is its mad sense of fun and cute nonsense. There's loads of funny dancing animals and cool girls and weird old men that you want to root for. It's a perfect thing for a video game to be. Anyone can play it. The only barrier to entry is you have to have rhythm or at least the determination to develop a sense of it. It can prove frustrating for some, but it's so fucking charming I have no idea how anyone could ever get angry at this game. Keeping design focused on just a handful of new levels has made Megamix's original content some of the best in the series. I can't express how much I love the Kitties level. The compilation format of the game also means that there's very, very few of the shiters from the old games too, and see if there's a level that you just couldn't get your head around before. The bottom screen shows you how close you are to hitting a perfect beat so you finally get some direct feedback on what you're doing wrong. The game is focused on saving levels that didn't fulfil their purpose in their debuts. As a long time fan of the series it's a revelation, but if you've missed out on any of the previous games you'll just see these levels as fresh content and lap it up. Rhythm games often feel like a risky investment as they're typically either lacking character or content. Megamix does not have this problem. I'm still actively playing it and discovering new things months after release. The challenge mode lets you try a series of levels under new limitations for fun rewards including the ability to unlock even more classic levels. It's a really nice addition to the game when previous entries in the series struggled to stay interesting after a couple of playthroughs. Each level is memorable and full of charm and you'll want to replay levels just because you love them so much. It's a real treat to have this one on a system that's so easy to pick up on a whim. Rhythm Paradise Megamix is something special. It rivals Jam with the Band for value but completely outshines it in terms of personality. You're laughing and smiling as much as you're tapping your feet. If you like these games, Megamix should definitely be the next one on your list. It's the most valuable and best game in the series by miles. 